Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at handling images with image view in Xamarin.Android using the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. Xamarin.Android exposes the complete Android SDK for .NET developers. So you can build a fully native Android applications using C Sharp or F Sharp in Visual Studio. So let's get to it then. So we get started by creating a blank Xamarin.Android applications. So you open the Visual Studio, then you come into the create a new project dialog. So we select Android on the platform side, and then we choose the Android application, Xamarin. So this is a project template for creating Android phone and tablet applications with Xamarin. Yeah, so once we've got this bit selected, then we can click on the next. So here we can configure the application or the project details, like the name and whatnot, but we're not gonna look too much into that. So we're just gonna click on the create. And here we select a blank application and then we leave the minimum Android version as it is. So we click on the OK. So it might take a while for the project to load. So I'm just going to pause it while it loads. So now we've got the project loaded. So what we do is we open the resources folder. Yeah, we're just going to add one image. So you should get your image ready so you're just going to copy your image paste it inside the the, the drawable so as you can see yeah, this is my image right this is just for the for this video so it's not really important so we come inside the layout so we click on the activity main so once we've got the, the activity main loaded then we come here, we change the relative layout to a linear layout. So inside the linear layout, we, we, we click on the, on the designer, we come inside the toolbox. So we just type image. So we, we drag the image view inside the designer. So we get, we get this bit created. So what we do is we're just gonna it's got actually it's actually got the the source but we remove the source so that we can set the source programmatically. So this is what we have we've actually got with the ID as image v1 yeah so what we do next is we're just going to go ahead and build the application for the first time yeah so once we've got uh, the build succeeded then we can open the main activity.cs so once we open the main activity.cs we come to the the set content view just under the set content view that we start we initialize variable IV for image view, which will be find view by ID. So we, this will be image view. So here we look inside the resources. So it's resource dot ID dot image view one. If you may recall, yeah so once we've got this bit sorted out yeah then we can say iv dot set image resource so inside here we can put a resource dot drawable dot the image that we've actually added to the, the the drawable folder which is my one is tp2 so right now we've set the image 
Yeah, so the next bit is, of course, we, we, we can run it to see if it's actually, it's actually showing up. So you can grab your emulator, make your emulator ready. So as you can see here now, we've got an image showing, but if we click on it, it's not, it's doing nothing. So let's look at how we can actually handle the click, uh, the image view click events, right? So we're just going to stop it from running. Yeah, so right after the I like the set image resource, you can say um, if IV is not null, we can say IV dot click so now we can actually subscribe to the to the click events so now we've actually created a very simple method for the IV clicked but what we do actually is um, instead of just using a method we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it here So we can say IV dot set background color. So before that, the click event, we can initialize a variable RND is equal to a new random. A new random. So here, the set color we can say new color so we can put the values as um, rnd dot nest is 255 rnd dot nest 255 rnd dot nest 255 so that one, whenever we click, we actually click on the image, we get the, the background set to a different color. So right now we can just save it and run it to see what actually happens. Yeah, so whenever we click it, we should get the background color changed to um, a random color. Yeah, so this is also how we can actually handle the image click event, right? So as you can see, it's not really that dealing with the image view is not really complicated, right? And I actually hope this this video helped you and I hope you can explore, explore on this further, right? So once again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.